It's impressive when seen from high above. It is a place of hope and healing. Look closer and you will see the future of medicine. Here, a team is close to finding cures for cancer, blood disorders, and other genetic diseases. It is amazing what you can accomplish in 15 years, but what's next may be even more exciting. When we started the stem cell program, we realized that the fish could be an excellent model for finding new therapies for human disease and stem cell production. 15 years later, we have discovered the cause of many genetic diseases, and we have four new therapies in the clinic for the treatment of specific blood diseases and cancer. Our method starts with a single skin cell or blood cell from a patient. From that cell, we derive the patient's stem cells, which at this point can become any cell or tissue in the body. For cell therapy, however, we must first repair any genetic defects in these stem cells. Next, we coax the stem cell to differentiate into specific blood stem cells needed for therapy. And lastly, we manufacture enough of these specialized stem cells to treat a patient. Today, this happens in our lab, but soon it's going to be happening at scale in the bioprocessing facility of the Children's Stem Cell Program. The work done in these labs seems far, far away from patients. But I am going to tell you from experience that it is closer than you think. 15 years ago, I was born with Fanconi's anemia or FA. My bone marrow could not make new blood cells and I had little hope for a normal life. But thanks to stem cells from my sister, I now have that life back. Many patients aren't as lucky as Daniel. He found a match. For many patients, the only hope may be cell therapy or off-the-shelf stem cells. That's what we're creating here. The stem cell transplant that I received changed my life. This team is opening doors to amazing science and taking us to new heights. I cannot wait to see how many other lives this team can change.